another trailer to talk about. So if, if you guys didn't know, uh, the new trailer for Despicable Me 3 uh, dropped on the web earlier today, and I watched it earlier. I was going to do a reaction to it, but I was too excited because when I went on YouTube on my phone earlier, I, I noticed the thumbnail for the trailer, and I was like, I can't do a reaction. I got to watch it. So I watched it, and what did I think of it? Well, I'll get to that later. So, so yeah, uh, if you guys didn't know, I like the Despicable Me movies. Uh, I don't think they're fantastic movies, but for what they are, I think they're very funny, very heartwarming, and, yeah, there's a lot of slapstick in it. And, yeah, as, as you guys may notice, I have the first two movies on a, on a Blu-ray right behind me, and so, so I'm going to share my quick thoughts on what I think of the Despicable Me movies. Uh, the first one... Uh, I don't think it's a great movie. I didn't enjoy it as much as everyone else did. A lot of people, like, I, I remember w when it first came out, it made a ton of money. It made, like, $500 million worldwide. Wow. And, uh, and a lot, a lot of people, they were like, uh, oh my gosh, this movie was so funny. It was so energetic. It was great. Steve Carell was great as Gru. It was so funny. The minions were great. Really? I mean, uh, I like the first Despicable Me movie. I think it's good. I don't think it's great though. I like the Steve Car Steve Carell was hilarious as Gru, and I and I like the Minions. I don't love them though, and I just thought the first one was just boring a little bit. And then the second one came out. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but I'm one of those few people who preferred the second one over the first one. Uh, if there was a downside to it, uh, is the story is a little messy. Like it's. The story is an unfocused mess, but overall, I thought Despicable, Despicable Me 2 uh, surpassed the original in terms of humor and story. I mean, I mean, in terms of which one ha had a better story, it was the first one, but in which one had, like, better humor and, like, was more better pacing and, and wasn't boring, it'll, it'll be the second one. Okay, so, the trailer for the third one came out, and, and here are my thoughts on it. Uh... I actually liked the trailer. Uh, I didn't think it was phenomenal, but I, I actually laughed at some parts. Like, okay, so the trailer starts out with, like, uh, Gru and his wife. I forgot. It's uh, that girl right there. I forgot her name. The one that's voiced by Chris and Wig. I forgot her name, but they're in a car together. And they're next to this car who, who, who like, does a little uh, go up and down thing. And Gru's car does that, too. And they're, like, competing each other. And Gru's car slammed at her car in the building and I was actually kind of giggling a, 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 a little bit. I actually thought it was funny. And then after that scene, we have our first glimpse at the villain who is voiced by Trey Parker. Kind of kind of surprising cuz if you guys know who Trey Parker is, he created an animated show that's not for kids. And you guys know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> South Park. Sorry. Uh and uh I'm not a huge fan of South Park, but I've seen the movie, and it's pretty funny. I don't watch South Park. I don't like it as much as Simpsons and Family Guy, but it's fine. Uh, it's it, it's a fine show. It's not bad. It's just fine. And, uh, and, and this villain looks hilarious. Like, he's this 80s, uh, I don't know. He's like, you can tell he, uh, he's from the 80s, because, because every time he's on screen in a trailer, he always... You always hear an 80s song playing in the background, like Bad by Michael Jackson. And, like, there's a scene where he uh, uses one of his weapons, which is a Rubik's, which is a R Rubik's Cube. And it, when it, like, the guards are about to stop him. And, like, when he throws the, the Rubik's Cube at him, it, like, explodes. And it was, and it was really cool. And, and at the end of the trailer, uh, Gru goes up against him. And, uh, the villain uses his guitar gun to, like, uh, like, blow air at him. And there's a scene where, uh, when he's getting his clothes taken off, Guru is naked. And he's hanging from, like, this gum. Like, the villain bl blew up gum in his ship. Just harder, just, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, just watch the trailer and you'll understand. And there's a scene where he's hanging and he sees, uh, like, he's naked and he sees people having a birthday and it was so funny. Like, my little 12-year-old self inside me was, was laughing. So, yeah, uh, that's my thoughts on the Despicable Me 3 trailer. And I'm actually really excited for it. Uh, 
I'm hoping it'll be better than the first one and maybe a little bit better than the second one. I don't know, but yeah. I mean, if it's not, then I wouldn't care. So yeah, I'm really excited for it. Okay, so I have a question for you guys. Have you seen the Despicable Me 3 trailer? What did you think of it? Or are you excited for it or not? I mean, I am. I mean, would I add it to my top 10 most anticipated movies of 2017? Probably not, but I am, I am excited for it. So if you are, comment below and let me know. And if you want to see more videos, just be sure to subscribe.